what if you are just doing way too much and you could you are just overcomplicating things and this whole process could be a lot a lot easier what if that was the case um, because I think for a lot of you it actually is the case um, I feel like there's a lot of techniques going around and there's a lot of listening to lots of people and trying to figure things out and doing a lot of efforting when in reality we really don't we don't need to do too much and the reason why we actually got into law of law of assumption at least for me is so that I didn't have to do as much anymore right it was more about being than it than doing right I kind of wanted to drop this whole notion of having to do 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 constantly doing things right and really um it's basically the law of least effort, right? Um, I actually think I heard Neville talk about this, uh, or maybe it was Joseph Murphy, but they both had the same teacher. Um, you know, Abdullah taught, if I'm correct, I think he taught Joseph Murphy too. Anyway, the point is, I read it somewhere, but it really stuck with me because really why are we doing this we're really doing it so that we can put in less effort right it's um the idea of not efforting is where i it's a reason i even like this law of assumption stuff right it's the reason why i even got into it or was attracted to it right because before that i was just doing law of attraction which was working to some degree you know obviously i've talked about this before it wasn't you know solving my issues it was just um it was helping me like a fair weather friend it was kind of like there when times were good and and i was just being positive but not really fixing anything right um and that's where law of assumption came in and then the, the most attractive thing i feel was just efforting less right and and being able to use my mind more and um not be so strung out doing a bunch of stuff so it's absolutely pointless if when you find law of assumption you are continuing to do a bunch of stuff and and string yourself around trying to do techniques or trying to listen to a bunch of different people or trying to you know figure this out fully and and not relaxing and i just wanted to talk about the idea of relaxing and how uh relaxation is god energy right and that's the the um the kind of like if you if you picked being in the state of relaxation you are basically in my eyes constantly in the state of having what you want because you're just if you had what you want you'd be relaxed now you're not going to always be elated right you're not going to always be like jumping up and down with joy for what you have because it's going to feel natural to you right and the most natural feeling the best way to describe the idea of having something that's just yours and you know it's yours is through feeling relaxed right like that's like the, the the closest feeling that i can really really grab onto that's telling yourself things are done right and things are finished and you have everything you want and you know it's um on a plane somewhere right it's already happening you just merely lining up with it you're choosing the thoughts choosing the belief system that lines you up with what you desire right it's not creating anything and, I, and a lot of us use the word create and i've said it before too but you're not creating anything everything is already done so you are simply lining up with that reality with your preferred reality and the closest feeling that i can think of to to be in that state is the state of relaxation you know and you can um you know you can test this out by just trying to be more relaxed right and and doing less really doing less if i always tell people the if the only thing you did was had a, a self-concept that was i am deserving you know worthiness you are worthy you are deserving you you are meant to have everything you want in this lifetime you're meant to become that person you know your worth and you know your value and if that was all you did if, if your self-concept tells you that is is signifying that to you and you feel that way with your self-concept and then all you did was have like you know um 
a little visual, uh, a fun little visual comes that comes to mind, you would get what you want. You know, it's that simple, right? You don't have to do all these things you don't want to do. And I see this, it, it's kind of like we have transferred, basically what I see people doing is I see them you know how we, we're doing a lot in our lives. We're doing all kinds of chores and lists and things and doing all constantly doing. We've kind of transferred that mechanism, our way of behaving onto law of assumption, right? We've kind of like, okay, what do we do? What do we do? How do we do it? What's, you know, how many techniques can I do? What can I, you know, figure out about this? And, and I'm doing all these things. I'm learning all this stuff, right? And we've kind of, um, we've basically... Um, transferred our our kind of manic doing this onto the law of attraction and that's not what I believe it's meant for it's meant to relax us it's meant to take us out of doing and into being right and into embracing this idea of being because when you're changing your thoughts which is all that law of assumption is and I'm going to remind you we're just changing our thoughts. That's all we're doing. No matter what technique, no matter what you're doing, even your visuals are there to change your thoughts, right? And and your visuals will imprint you with basically new thoughts to think. Because if you if, if you have a visual that you've imprinted, new thoughts will arise from that, right? Like let's say you've been visualizing, visualizing you know, holding hands with your SP and it's so strong in your mind, your thoughts from that will be you know, I'm loved, he loves me, I'm taken care of, there's, you know, there's love between us, things like that. And so it's constantly changing your thoughts, no matter what technique you're doing. So the point is that we're just literally changing our thoughts. And it's, it's that simple. We're not trying to do a bunch of stuff. We're just, this is the way of least resistance it's the way of least effort right we're trying to effort less so this video is just supposed to be a reminder that we're actually wanting through learning this law of assumption stuff is wanting to do less like you know um if you are drawn to law of assumption you naturally feel the urge to do less that's how i look at it and um you want to follow that urge and not do too much right you want to really scale it down a lot of notches and really start to listen to yourself and and this is a radical idea but a few years back when i was living in my car this is kind of like a long time ago not not a few years it's probably like yeah like 10 10 years ago something like that right before i kind of really delved into law of assumption i thought to myself like there's got to be an easier way right i was I was wanting to save money and I could have got an apartment, but I was thinking like, oh no, I can save more if I'm living in my car, right? Which, but I was really strung out. I was like doing a lot of jobs and had a lot of stress and I didn't have a place to live. Like that's stressful in itself, right? I, um, and kind of like living on the road, like that can be stressful if you're not set up for it, right? It's not like I had a van. I had just like a little car. So, um, I thought like, I kind of like finally hit my wits end. I thought like I was crying. I think I had, didn't have a shower for like a few days. And I was like, oh, just, I hate this life. Like, why am I making this so difficult? And so the point is, is like when I f first found Law of Assumption, I thought like, okay, what if my life could just be easy? right it was like such a foreign concept to me because i think a lot of us have i've been trained to like oh it's got to be hard we got to try we got to do all this stuff we got to keep going and keep pushing and push ourselves you know and, and it's almost like we're trained not to listen to ourselves and not to relax and not to just let things happen and trust this law right so when i found the law i had some radical ideas and i kind of started implementing them and you know i got better and better at these things that i was trying to do which one of them was I wanted to, I finally got, I hit my breaking point. I thought like, I want to just do only what I want to do. Like what a concept, you know, do you, do you know anyone that can like live their life and just literally do what they want to do? Like if you don't feel like doing it, don't do it. 
right? Like what an idea, you know? And um, I can't say that my life is exactly like that right now, but it's much more like that than it was before, right? There's basically not a whole lot that I do that I don't want to do, right? Most of the things I do, even the businesses I run and the things I'm doing on, you know, in a you know, on a daily basis are things I actually want to do. And if I don't feel like calling a company or I don't feel like doing something, I put it off until I feel like doing it, right? So what a concept, like what if we use this law, like the law of assumption to only do what we want to do. And if you are changing your thoughts consistently, when you find something you don't like and you're, you're switching it and you're, you're building new beliefs, that actually can be your reality that actually can be your reality. And this might be, you know, something that seems very far-fetched for a lot of you, right? It can seem like, oh, how do I just not do anything I don't want to do? But what if, I just want to put that idea in your head, like what if that was a reality that you could step into, you know? This whole concept of just doing less and being more, like being in this relaxed state and allowing things to just matriculate on their own, right? They they are coming in on their own. You you just take, take the inspired action, which will and should feel good in my eyes, right? That's what kind of inspired action is. It's like, you're going to feel good doing it. It should feel good, right? It's going to not feel like hemming and hawing and wondering if you should do it. Like people ask me if they should text their SP. It's like, no, you're going to th- you, you're not even going to be asking that question. You're going to know, right? It's going to be inspired. You're going to feel really good doing it. And there's not going to be a question. What if we could do everything like that, right? And wait until we just get inspired and work on the thoughts first. You should always be working on the thoughts first so that you can do less action, right? And your actions, uh, I, wanna, I don't want to say should, but they could all be inspired. You could live your life truly and simply only through doing inspired action like that would be incredible right it would be an amazing life and I'm definitely working in that direction there are certain things I still push myself to do but it's very few and far between I am I am getting there so I hope this is a good example for you guys and you can like start to think you know more and more unlimitedly right and really get in this zone of like the reason why you chose law of assumption is to be unlimited right it's to be relaxed it's to it's to not work as hard right because this 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 assumption building assumptions that support you should be the work right that's the work you do and then everything else I feel like should be inspired action. So I know it's a it's a bold statement, but I feel like this is what we're working towards, you know? And if you're remembering that this is why you chose this law and you chose to believe it and you you want to believe it and you and you're choosing it for yourself and this is your new way of life, right? It's not just this one thing to get something, right? It's not just, "Oh, I'm going to use this thing. I'm going to use this technique. I'm going to use this thing to get this one thing. No, this is a lifestyle. This is the way you're choosing to live your life. This is so important that you you fully embrace what this actually means. And it actually means you do way, way, way less, way less. And, and hopefully nothing you don't want to do. You stop doing things you don't want to do. You, you line up your thoughts first. You get your, li- your, your thoughts aligned and you let things come to you and you just take the little inspired action that that is required to do whatever but it's going to feel good right you're going to take the action that feels good to you it's not going to feel pushy it's not going to feel you know like you're stressed out it's not going to feel like you're pushing yourself to do anything right you want to be inspired when you're doing these things and not um (laughs) and not um and you know, not be pushing yourself, you know, and this is why you chose this law. So it's really good to just marinate on that and really think about the reason you are doing this is to do less actually. And, and that's really, truly what we're, we're all kind of going towards, right? I mean, I've been inching my way there year after year, you know, day by day so that I really am not doing anything that's not inspired. So I just hope this is a motivational thing for you and just reminding yourself why you chose this law law of assumption as your way of life, not to get one thing, but as a way of life to fully embrace as a way of living so that you are 
living more on purpose and not having to do so much crap crap that you don't want to do you know because you can live your whole life doing crap you can literally live your whole life doing crap and you're gonna you the time is gonna put the time is gonna pass by and what are you gonna be doing all these little crap things right so i i i just it's so important to line up the thoughts and then allow the things to come is so much easier when you just line the thoughts up right and we're doing less effort way less effort okay i hope this helped just a little reminder Hopefully it's it's not very short, but if you loved it, thumbs me up. If you love Neville and Laura of Assumption and changing your life, stick around. I love to have you guys. Coaching details below.